the first key that you need to survive these seasons whether a season of attack or a season of pruning and dealing and refining number one never lose your joy please never lose your joy in this kingdom joy is strength never never lose your joy hmm. philippians chapter 4 and verse 4 please write quickly philippians chapter 4 and verse 4 rejoice in the lord always not always always as you go rejoice in the lord always and again i repeat rejoice joy joy is of the holy ghost though joy is not just clownish laughter you don't have to laugh to be in joy lord i don't know the name of what you are doing but i rejoice i rejoice i rejoice i rejoice i rejoice <laughs> I rejoice mm. true joy will come in form of a melody on your lips a melody that does not make sense sometimes a melody that mocks your situation still sing it joy joy Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10b popular scripture but many of you don't know where it is in the Bible Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10b it says for the joy of the lord is your strength that the joy of the lord that means when you lack strength in this kingdom what you lack is joy in the physical world when you lack energy you are given food is that true in the realm of the spirit when you lack joy i mean when you lack strength what you are given to eat is joy sometimes god does not give you the solution he gives you joy 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 he said count it all joy count it all joy the shame yes sir the pain yes sir the no admission yes sir the disappointed meeting that i called people and i said sick people come and at the end nobody was healed and that you went back home and somebody sent a text and said next time be a serious man of god before you call us the bible says, count it all joy it comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes alive every time i hear your voice there's a joy in my heart in spite of all the sorrows that surrounds me and this joy that I have only comes alive every time I hear your voice comes it comes alive every time I hear your voice. can you watch your car on fire your 2.5 or 3.5 million and you stand and say to god be the glory great things he has done can you watch your job and you stand at the gate of your office it was once yours but now no longer yours and say in it oh god i give you glory the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i be afraid can you stand before a corpse and you are looking at a dead body that you fasted for days to come back to life and you say in spite of it oh god with the tears coming from my eyes i still give you glory i thought the dead body would come back to life but now I have prayed. I give you glory. Never lose your joy. Let nothing in this life steal your joy. Not lack of money. 
not lack of a child please listen to me this gloominess we carry around is cheating us are you hearing what i'm saying yes make up your mind to rejoice in the lord why are you rejoicing and crying i'm crying because of the reality of my pain but i rejoice because joy brings harvest you will sow in tears but you will reap in joy not with joy in joy if there is no joy there is no harvest number two what do you do in these seasons engage in strategic prayer listen the seasons of attack in a believer's life or a season of pruning and making they are seasons of deep spiritual emphasis there are seasons of prayer and intercession. That's not the time to pray morning and evening. That's the time to pray anyhow and anytime. Because you are in a season. Your anchor will be your prayer. Hallelujah. Day and night you are praying. Lord, I don't know what is happening to my life, but I'm praying. You have your prayer time in the morning. You have your prayer time in the evening. But every time is prayer time. Every time is prayer time. An evil report. Your wife just lost her child. What are you doing? I am praying. Why? I'm in a season. Is any man afflicted? James chapter 5 and verse 13. Let him pray let him pray not let him discuss not let him grumble around not let him call god names and say i will backslide let him pray psalm 34 please from verse 4 to 7 and then the last part and we will pray psalm 34 i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from what all my fears next verse we're reading to four to seven they looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed six the poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of how many all his troubles last verse the angel of the lord encampeth around them that fear him and delivereth them prayer is a powerful weapon in all seasons but especially this season lord what is happening around my life my wife just got attacked my son just got attacked my job just got attacked i am not understanding what is happening i set myself like daniel onto prayer God grants you grace you can add with fasting add with fasting this spiritual laziness of eating anyhow anytime many believers now fast as a ceremony three days fasting you carry it on your head as if you as if it's, it's 12 years fasting if you love food more than your destiny life will cheat you again and again food is okay oh, but please let me tell you mighty ones you must learn to show food that your spirit man has grown above it there are many of you here you cannot remember i may be wrong i'm not saying you should do it please i'm not saying you should do it but as far as i'm concerned there are spiritual levels that if you get to a week should never pass that you did not fast you are joking you are joking not with what you are doing to hell you are joking seven days ah no himarama <laughs> Imarama Imarama 
to the King who sits on the throne. He marama to the King. Listen, let me tell you this. I will continue to teach you this secret. Real victory, real victory in prayer is gotten while men sleep. Real victory is not gotten shouting around just making noise. Real men of power contact power when men sleep. May God give you the grace to rise above sleep. I'm praying from the... May God give you the grace to not allow sleep cheat you. That God can wake you up in the night. No light. Off the light. You are praying. Don't allow distractions. You are praying the next thing. You see one of your trousers and it's enough to distract. Off the light. You can use your phone light. You are in the night alone. And watch what happens. You are nobody seeing what you are doing. But there is a register. Every day you are signing. It is the day you get to the stage to preach. That's when God will not disappoint you. Don't come on stage and talk nonsense. Lion of the tribe of Judah, Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, Rose of this and that and that. God is not a scammer. He's not a magician. No track record in the secret place. You will flatter yourself to nothing in, in the open. Please learn to pray in the night. Learn to pray in the night. Learn to pray in the night. Receive grace to dedicate night times and pray. God didn't give you a house just to keep things. Turn everywhere to a prayer altar. Turn your toilet to a prayer altar. Turn your living room to a prayer altar. When everyone has gone off the television, don't pray watching a film. Even if it's a Christian movie, you are not praying. Shut it down. Lord, this is me and you here. I don't know what is happening to my life. Shakatos kaprandaske balakata. A time will come, you'll feel like just leaning. Get up and say, Satan, you're a liar. I'm going far. A time will come, your tongues begin to change. What you are saying, it will never be what you started with. You, are, you, you have entered a level in the spirit. Tongues are languages. And there are levels of power contact. Groanings that cannot be uttered. You get to a point in the spirit where you begin to pray. There are times that only one word, one phrase will come out of your mouth for minutes. Pray it. You are receiving power. Prayer is not something you do in a group so that people will see you and think you're a prayer warrior. Don't joke with your destiny like that. Don't joke with your destiny like that. The Bible says to enter and shut the door behind you. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father who is in secret. You don't need to have a prayer point. You don't need to have a prayer point. Just stay there and begin to pray. Sekas kaparakatos, embrekete keleka takatos, sikos kamanakata. And while you are praying, your flesh is weak, but your spirit is willing. Listen, can I tell you this? There is a level of fire you bring on any attack in your life. It must give way. It must give way. Fire 
is an emblem of the spirit is one of the emblems of revival is one of the emblems that show that the spirit is in a place fire does not only refine fire is for judgment there are times you need to stay like a priest upon the watch my brother and my sister if you pray from your heart some things will shift you will wake up in the morning and know i shifted this through prayer there are attacks that only prayer can challenge pray for me pray for me is wonderful but you must become the priest of your destiny can someone just blast in tongues for just one or two minutes Salamakata. Senakandas kama hasabash. Rakata bakato sopo koto sheketele kata. Emprata seneketo shani kata. Sasete shana haskabaratos. Rekete kete kete skabarakatos. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I'm in a season of my life. I cannot afford to be lazy. I'm in a season of my life. I cannot allow my prayer life go down. It's too risky. Not for this season. Not for this season. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. Oh, take away slumber from my eyes. Take away slumber, oh God. Skabaratoskama. There are scores to settle in the realm of the spirit. There are things to shift in the realm of the spirit. There are things to align in the realm of the spirit. I need to legislate spiritual realities. While men slept, while men slept, the enemy came and saw tears. Pray. Pray. Outside, pray. to the king who sits on the throne Imarama to the king who sits on the throne Eshelabalara 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 War to them who are at ease in Zion. War to them who are at ease in Zion. To the king who sits upon the white horse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're praying. Psalm 125. Prayer gives you stamina to pass through seasons. Jesus prayed, otherwise, you would have given up. 
He said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, use the same strategy to strengthen. Strengthen. Prayer is a strengthener. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abided forever. Next verse. As the mountains are around Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. Next verse. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put his hands in iniquity. Next verse. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. We are reading till the last verse. As for such as turn aside in their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. But peace upon Joshua Selman. Prayer gives you stability. In the next two, three minutes, you are going to pray. And say, Lord, let this prayer stabilize me. I shouldn't be shaking over everything. I should be able to laugh at certain storms. And say, Jesus is Lord. Lift your voice and pray. Stability, power, stamina. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Stability, O oh God. Stability, O oh God. The Bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. Your strength is small. Give me capacity, endurance, stamina. The grace to pass through for the sake of my family. The grace to pass through for the sake of my generation. The grace to pass through for the sake of my, my loved ones. Be strong, be strong, be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Don't be weak, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Koinonia, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Don't entertain weakness. Be strong in the Lord. You are not the weak ones. You are strong. Hallelujah. The third key I will give you tonight. Number one, never lose your joy. Number two, engage in strategic prayer and intercession. Number three, prophesy. The power of the spoken word. There is no greater time in your life to engage the creative power of God's word than when things just go haywire. The power of the spoken word. The power of the spoken word. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28. Numbers 14 Say unto them, as truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do unto you. There are times that you don't just pray. You pray till the spirit of prophecy comes on you. When it does come, you speak. He said, prophesy. Speak to the dry bones. Prophesy. Oh, dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord said prophesy there are times you need to prophesy 
there are times you need to speak Psalms 138 and verse 8 very powerful scripture Psalms 138 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly we are going to pray the Lord will perfect that which concerned me thy mercy O Lord endureth forever forsake not the works of my own hands you lift it in prayer I prophesy and I declare the Lord is perfecting everything concerning me I declare that I come out victorious the Bible declares that goodness and mercy follow me you don't just cry and say hey yeah so is this how my life is going to be this is what I've become now no sir nothing moves till you prophesy I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound you see that's why it is important for a believer to be full of God's Word if you are scripture bankrupt you will not know what to say prophecy is not just when God reveals something like word of knowledge you can take the word of God and begin to create possibilities it's important to know the word it's important to know the word when it looks like things around you are not working you go to Psalm 3 many are they that rise up against me Many are they which say, where is your God? He says, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. It's unfortunate for believers who don't know the word. You must trust God for grace to sit down and gather relevant scriptures that address the issue of concern and stand up like the priest that you are put those words in the lips of faith like Kenyon will say and begin to release them with true supernatural power the Lord is my light and salvation the Lord is my light and salvation I reject confusion in my life I hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk in it this is how to pray is someone ready to pray listen to me there are many of us who have gotten to the stage in our seasons where it is our prophecy that will bring the morning if you don't prophesy nothing will happen is someone ready to pray if you don't know what to say go and hold the hands of someone who knows what to say and agree with them lift your voice and begin to speak there has to be a scripture that you know it shall keep them in perfect peace whose minds are stayed towards him many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivered him from them all from them all from them all and I will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten, the palmer worm, the caterpillar. It will give them beauty for ashes. Joy for the spirit of mourning. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, and he shall be glorified. Behold, I do a new thing. Shall ye not know it? I make a way even in the wilderness, streams in the desert. The Lord shall perfect all that concerns me. The Lord shall perfect all that concerns me. All the days of my appointed time, I wait till my change comes. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream. So said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy.
I am the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. I shall lay up gold as dust. Even the gold of Ophir. Gentiles come to my light. They are kings even to the brightness of my rising. For my shame I receive double. But my head shall thou exalt like the horn of a an unicorn, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, blessed in my going out, blessed in my coming in. Blessed is the work of my hands, my kneading trough, in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. My seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in my house and my righteousness endures forever. Pray. Pray. You are not just speaking, you are creating. Declare thou that ye might test be justified. For by your words you are justified. And by your words you are condemned. You are bringing before God your strong reasons. Above only. Above only. Above only. Above only. In the name of Jesus. Above only above only a sign and a wonder a testament of the grace of god a testament of the favor of god a testament of the hand of god a testament of the mercy of god Though weeping endures for a night, joy comes with the morning. Prophesy joy in the morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 32, Genesis chapter 32, the Bible says, Jacob wrestled with God and he said, leave me for the day breaketh. He says, I will not let you go unless, listen, unless you bless me. Here's how God blessed him. What is your name? What is your identity? What have people known you with? I'm about to change it. That's how I bless you. If I've blessed you truly, it means something they used to say about you. A proverb should no longer be heard. What is your name? And he said, Jacob, a cheat and a supplanter. He said, thou shalt no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. Why? For as a prince, you have had power with God and prevailed. We are going to pray father change my name in this season listen change my name means change my experience change my name means change the proverb let this proverb not be used about me again that God cannot show him mercy that God cannot lift my family let this proverb change like father like son no sir open your mouth and cry change my name 
change my story. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Jabez, the mother called him Jabez, named him in sorrow. But Jabez was angry. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Enlarge my coast. Is someone praying? Lord, change my financial name. Change my ministerial name. Change my marital name. Change my destiny name. Out of the abundance of your mercy. By the encounter I've had with you. Change my name. Change my story. Change my name. Give me a testimony. Shut the mouths of the wicked. Prove once again that you are God and that by yourself. Please pray. God answers prayers. Give me a new name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. The Bible says he touched the hollow of his thigh and it became twisted. Lord, may I never depend on my strength. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. And lean not on your own understanding. It says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path the next verse says do not be wise in your own understanding but fear the lord and turn away from evil you are going to pray lord i've trusted my certificate i've trusted my connection i've trusted my beauty i've trusted my spirituality but tonight i take my eyes away from all of this as advantageous as they are they looked unto him and their faces were lightened i look to you and to you alone lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray we are praying i take my eyes away from man it is true that my blessings come through men but my eyes are fixed on you is someone praying Yahweh, Yahweh, our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Like the brazen serpent that Moses made, he said, whoever looks to that serpent, the real one will not strike at him. Vain is anything that you put your strength on. So Jacob, I see you stable without me. I touch your point of stability so that you will be ever dependent on me. The last prayer point. He said he blessed him 
and the sun arose until then it was night the war happened in the night the weeping happened in the night but then it says the sun arose and Jacob called the name of the place Peniel the face of God it says for I have seen God face to face when Moses saw the face of God he returned back with a testimony is someone ready to pray Lord let the sun arise it is true that weeping endures for a night but I believe I'm standing at the dawn of my morning lift your voice and prophesy let my son arise son arise financial son arise ministerial son arise the encounter is over the lessons have been learned the impartations have been received therefore night time be turned today night time be turned today Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep standing. We're rounding up. Let me tell you three things that come into your life when you break through with God. Number one, strange dimensions of favor. There is, a, there is a, an unusual degree of favor. It's God's signature. He writes it upon your life that the training for this phase has come to an end. You have been approved. He uses favor. Dimensions of doors you never dreamt opening. I can tell you this happens. It doesn't matter how the night is. That when your day breaks, you will see favor that will bring you to your knees. When I talk of favor, I'm not talking money. I'm talking of the hearts of kings and nobles. Money is very small. God will take the hearts of kings and nobles and give you. It will be like a charm. You will call on a man and nations will respond. You have become Beulah and Hephzibah. The delight. Number two. Genuine, authentic spiritual power genuine spiritual power not trial and error not like God will come not like God will move something solid upon you provable genuine spiritual power you speak the purposes of God to men's lives and you will shift lives overnight power 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 Number three, the third thing that happens to you when you stand with God is that God multiplies both your spiritual and your physical influence. He increases the reach of the grace he has put upon your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every man is limited by the jurisdiction a portion for his grace to function there are men who can stand from anywhere and speak over Nigeria it doesn't matter the grace given to them and the expansion they have attained unto in the spirit covers that sphere Elijah stood in one place and spoke over an entire land there were times when Jesus had to leave one land to enter another land to pray for a person what was the reward of the five two and one talent greater territory greater influence in the spirit when kings conquered certain lands they had increased territory 
America is called America today because it's the unity of many states. One American state can be three times Nigeria. One state. Are we together now? Yes. It's why it's called United States of America. In Nigeria, you can pass through a state in 30 minutes. And there are times in the state you will fly for hours from one state to the other. There is no state that is more than one hour, 10 minutes. My Duguri to Lagos is the farthest distance. One hour, 10 minutes exactly you are there. But you will fly for hours. That is the reason why whoever sits as the president of that territory must be respected by every devil whether they like it or not. It is the reason why the American president is the number one president. Because there are many in one state is the destiny of many nations. The per capita income of just one state will swallow up many African countries. So when God expands your sphere, dimensions where your grace would not reach, now you can speak from one place and they can hear from home. Before you had to go home for them to hear. But now God has expanded your influence. And they say, won't you come again? You say, no problem. He has upgraded the grace. For I am also a man under authority. Right from where I am, I can say to one, come. And he cometh. Go. And he goeth. It's like a ranking in the spirit. One of my old secondary school classmates, my father got to meet with him recently and now he's a major in the army. I think at the threshold of the next rank. What's the next rank? After, after major. Lieutenant Colonel, yes. I think soon that's what they are going to give him. He used to be a fearful, chicken-like young guy. I remember when they take us from Joss to go to our school, he would start crying even before we go out of Joss. I never cried once to leave home. It was a delight and a pleasure to get out. That guy was so girlish and feminine. I wondered, but that guy today is a major. Sometimes he would stand and do some things, you know, he could see a roach, cockroach, and you know how ladies would jump. But today he can tell me, kneel down, hands up, you civilian, except for the fact that when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? Can we spend two minutes to pray? Let's pray the prayer of Jabez. Enlarge my territory. Please lift your voice and pray. Enlarge me, O God. Take away the spirit of smallness from my life. It doesn't give you glory that I remain small. Not after an encounter with you. Not after seasons, defining moments with you. Pray the prayer of Jabez. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. That thou wouldest expand, enlarge my territory. Pray for Koinonia. Pray for your business. Lord, enlarge my territory. He said, where we meet with you is too straight. Let us move beyond the Jordan. Please pray. God is hearing you. You are not wasting your time. It has been said no one rose beyond certain levels in your family. But can you pray the prayer of Jabez? Expand my territory, O oh God. I will go where the fathers have not gone. I will eat the milk and the wine of Canaan. I will not die in the wilderness. 
he did not bring me from Egypt to leave me in the wilderness there is a land that flows with milk and honey hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord I want to pray you don't have to come out but I want to pray specially for people in this place tonight you just sense in your life that there seems to be a fierce attack on your life this is not just a dealing with God this one you know is demonic it's like all hell breaking loose over you over your family over your spiritual life over whatever it is your business i want to pray for you and i want you to believe it is for this cause that the lord says to not neglect the gathering of the brethren because it's an opportunity for a supply of his power even when your seasons come to the end there has to be a man he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it i want to pray for such people suddenly your prayer life just went down you can't fast from six to six by 11 you are almost collapsing you can't even breathe it's an attack As a man of God, you found out that it looks like you opened the Bible and your page is empty. You are not seeing anything again. Every verse looks confusing. Every. Something is wrong. Strange attack on your church. Members are suddenly leaving. Everybody is suddenly hating you. People you have labored to raise in the gospel are now turning against you. It's an attack. You used to prophesy correctly, but now you just found out that you entered a season of nonsense. Everything you say is not correct. Word of knowledge, not correct. Your prophecy, not correct. It's an attack. It doesn't mean you are wrong. It means the devil is attacking your credibility so that you will no longer be trusted. Finances. You are a hard-working, diligent person all of a sudden it looked like holes came in your pocket all doors just closed no destiny helper again even those who promised to help you it's as if something turned their backs against you it's an attack my brothers and my sisters you need to pray all of a sudden your children started becoming something else people you have labored and trained they now no longer listen to you you say a they say b you say keep quiet they tell you to keep quiet something is wrong strange devilish dreams nightmares you can't dare lie down on your bed to sleep here they come pressing you molesting you attacking you it will take the grace of god to struggle yourself to wake up it's an attack what of reports from home you are enjoying the glory of God just about to take a nice step they just call you they pay you some areas that you are trusting God to just use and buy a small land and you hear an attack that someone needs chemotherapy or, or whatever it is and they need to spend 35 to 100 thousand every week and it is you they are depending on say devora say it again say devora I say devora because you don't do it everybody says you're a wicked young man who is allowing your father or mother to die and you pay 70 70 000 in in five or six weeks your money is gone there are many ways believers can be attacked can i pray for you i don't know who is in that category but i believe the lord put this meeting tonight you don't have to kneel just believe believe Jesus, the Son of God, 
I believe in you. Father, you have anointed me for the sake of your people. And I bring before you, O oh God, the thousands of people in this place, thousands and millions others from around the world who are being fiercely attacked by the devil and his cohorts in an attempt to corrupt your testimony over their lives I bring before you families that have been fiercely attacked businesses fiercely attacked destinies marriages spiritual lives ministries churches and by that attack your people have been discouraged they have been exhausted and frustrated tonight in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that every spirit responsible for this attack by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead we crush the works of darkness now yeah. pay attention I'm praying for you I decree and declare that if this is as a result of territorial covenants activities of ancestry that authorize darkness to launch attacks over lives over churches over ministries over individuals mysterious diseases that you had no part in I pray by the God of heaven tonight let there be liberty for you let there be liberty for you let there be liberty for you I challenge suicidal spirits over this territory of Zaria the spirits that cause young people to kill themselves and waste their lives in the name that is above all names we command that spirit is banished from this territory the spirit of discouragement the spirit of exhaustion in the name of jesus we declare be gone now and forever He says, the Lord shall deliver you from six things. Yea, seven things. And one of it is the scourging tongues of men. The scourging tongues. Pronouncements work, my brothers and my sisters. Some of you acted in a way and manner that out of anger, some men of God opened their mouths under the influence of the grace God gave them. And they made utterances concerning your destiny. Like Elisha, some of you laughed at certain men of God and they made utterances. And there are things devouring you you cannot explain. Listen, there are some of you, his parents, maybe be, before you now started to be serious with God, you talk nonsense to parents and they looked at you. And said may your children do the same thing for you you would think they were just joking the realm of the spirit is a legal realm believe it or not whether you believe it or not doesn't change that reality the scourging tongues like a scourge a scourge is a whip a cane that the, that the mouth of a man can become a whip over a man's destiny It takes people to speak also over your life. 
There are some of you, maybe you were in certain churches and you ran your mouth against men of God, laboring in the spirit, either because of their weaknesses, because of their mistakes. You opened your mouth. Some of you maybe even insulted them directly. And like Noah, they got up from their sleep and cursed you and said, a servant of servants shall you be. He said, God forbid it will not happen, but it's happening and you are seeing it. Yes, ago, I remember a man who I think he said something against Bishop Oyedeko. And Bishop Oyedeko cursed him. And he, you know, laughed it over and believed it would not happen. And for the next few years of that man's life, things went down until he went for prayer. And a true prophet of God said, Ah, I'm trying to bless you. And I'm seeing that that blessing is not coming. Something you have offended a man of God. He said to go and if you can't apologize to him you may not have time to do all of that but that prayers need to be offered otherwise you will be surprised how long that thing will remain on your head there are things in your life that should not go wrong something is making it go wrong exactly what the blessing does is what a cause does in the negative hallelujah The anointing is two-sided it blesses and it judges I want to pray for you because I believe that sometimes this our generation need the prayer of mercy we have abused and insulted men of God some of us with the young revelations we have we have insulted every father of faith call them all kinds of names insulted our reverence in the orthodox churches our priests in our catholic churches you know presbyterian churches just because we are filled with the holy ghost we laughed at them in sarcasm and made nonsense statements and god had it father in the name of jesus i pray again the bible declares that a curse causeless shall not stand but the bible also declares that your mercy overrides judgment i stand oh god by the privilege of your grace and i stand in advocacy for your people that in any way we have become victims of the scourging tongues of men let the mercy of god let the blood of jesus that speaks better things than the blood of abel tonight let it speak on behalf of our lives let it speak on behalf of our families. Let it speak on behalf of our businesses. Let it speak on behalf of our ministries. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I decree and declare that any pronouncement on the life of anyone causing destruction by the blood of the eternal covenant from today, let it be lifted from off your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lastly, let me pray for those who, it is not an attack from the devil. There are just seasons you are passing through that is refining you to be as gold. Father, I pray you are not careful when it comes to making men you have standards that cannot be bent and lord some of these standards we we admit that in our humanity they are hard they are standards that will stretch us from every dimension therefore lord for the sake of your people listening following from around the world and even here who are passing through seasons of pruning and training and building let grace be supplied tonight let strength be supplied tonight let hope be supplied tonight i decree and declare like a faithful soldier you will pass through it and emerge as gold that out of this season of training will come great anointings great ministries great destinies 
Let the character God seeks to birth, let it be birthed. Let the discipline God seeks to birth, let it be birthed. Let the spirituality God seeks to birth, let it be birthed. Let the endurance God seeks to birth, let it be birthed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stamina for you to endure the mockery of men. Stamina for you to endure the sacrifices you will have to make. And I declare that at the end of it, God will write his signature upon your life. You will be a possessor of something divine and something powerful. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for tonight's teaching. That as simple as it came, we place an anointing upon it. Let it minister to your people at the points and the seasons that they will need it. In the name of Jesus. Particularly to your precious people in this ministry. In the name of Jesus, there will be testimonies of the wonder-working power of this teaching. We give you all the glory and all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Give Jesus a big, big hand. Clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Very quickly, before I take the announcement, a few minutes, I feel very fulfilled teaching what I taught tonight because it's in obedience to the Holy Spirit. Please listen. All the overflows inside the main auditorium. There are people here who are saying, Apostle, I've been waiting for you to make an altar call because I cannot leave this place tonight without totally handing everything over to Jesus. There are people here and we need to honor that decision. You are outside, listen. You are inside, please. You are saying, man of God, I need Jesus and I need him fast. I need him now. Others, you are rededicating your life. Wherever you are, I hope the space will be enough. Please make your way quickly. Let's clap for them as they come. Be bold, stand up, and make your way to the front. There are people coming from outside. Please allow them to come and clear the way for them quickly. Are there people in here? God bless you. God bless you. Let's celebrate them as they come. Nothing to be ashamed of. You're coming from outside. Please run. Come and stand right here. He's giving you a new beginning. Apostle, what if they see me? Don't mind them. You are standing before Jesus Christ. Please keep coming. Keep coming. I'm not sure if I'm born again. I'm not sure if I'm a child of God. I just like the things of God. Join them. Join them and let there be that assurance once and for all tonight. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Quickly, please. Young, old. We take the issue of salvation very, very seriously. Jesus said, ye must be born again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. If there are still people coming, please quickly, they can come and join. But I appreciate every one of you. It takes a lot of courage to come and stand here. And I salute you for making this decision. Let me request that you lift your right hand and pray passionately after me. Just repeat after me. But do this from the depth of your heart and with understanding. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. Tonight, I receive your life. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that Jesus is my Lord, is my Savior, is my friend. From today, the grace to walk in victory is mine. I declare that I'm a child of God from now and forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Thank you, Father, for this once. 
you have brought them by your spirit. The Bible declares that as many as will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. Receive these ones and empower them to live victorious lives. Let tonight not be an emotional decision. Let it truly be a decision that will move them from one dimension of glory to another in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I salute you for this great decision. Praise the Lord. May I please request that you just walk down the aisle, just turn every one of you. There's a lady waving her hands. I would want you to please move this way in concert. They will lead you to a group of people who will talk to you very briefly on our behalf. Is this the best you can do, Koinonia?